and happy Mother's Day to all of you mommies. Um, happy Mother's Day to myself. <laughs> anyway, welcome to week four, day one of the Making It Work Challenge. This is, my cat is making all kinds of noise over there. This is day one, like I said, um, this is my last, full, my last week at this job. As far as I know, I think I'm going to I'm gonna work today, which is Sunday, Monday and Wednesday, and then possibly next Monday. I am not real sure yet. But as far as I know, Wednesday will be my last day. So this will be my last week for this job. My next job, I will do the same thing, only it's going to probably, I'm thinking, four to five days every week. So um, I am running super late, so I'm just going to get into this. What I'm wearing today on my brows is the Ulta Brow Tint and Light. This was the first one I ever bought. And see how this light looks a lot browner than the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brunette one? Um, I like this one a lot better. It's got a tiny little, it's very precise. It's got a tiny, tiny little um, wand on it. And... I'm in love with this color. I, I love this one, and I will definitely repurchase this. Okay, next thing I wore, I put on was my Ulta Eye Primer, and I'm trying to use this one up. I'm not going to use any other ones until this one's gone. Next thing, I, I and I'm sorry about this. I used a NYX palette last week, but I'm going to, for my last week, since it's three days, I thought I would just use this one. It is the NYX Be Free S-O-I-S Libre, is that how you say it? Um, Spanish, I guess. But um, it comes in lots of different colors, lots of really pretty colors. And since I have purple on in my shirt today, I'm gonna do, I did something I never do. I hardly ever wear purple eyeshadow. I don't, don't differ much from like the roses, the golds, and the very neutral shades. So this was something different for me. So anyway, I put this darker shade, um, well, of course, first I used this for an all-over base, and then I used this darker shade um, on my lid, but I used this lighter one here just on the very bottom of my lid, um, and I think, I think it's very pretty. Um, okay, so that was my eyeshadow. And then for the blush, it's got three shades, so one for every day. And I use this first one, which is a very pink, spark, got gold sparkles in it. And I, I am not using the lipsticks because I just don't like lipsticks like this. I don't like having to use a brush on my lips. I just, that's not me. So anyway, for my lips, um, I am using three of the colors from, um, this is Ulta. And it was just a little, they are supposed to be, they are full-size lipsticks, but they are in these little packages. Um, and I got it as a kit, a lipstick kit from Ulta. And this, I used the, this color is Mystery. And it's a purple. It's not real, real pigmented. I had to go over and over my lips to get it this color, which I think is just beautiful. And so today is kind of a purple day. <laughs> gonna put this aside so I don't use it again oh and for my mascara I used my Grandissimo Lashes Incredible Volume Mascara by Milani I love this mascara I would definitely repurchase it and it's got I love these big big thick um, brushes and I will show you my face And with my glasses on, I forgot to put my, my clips in my hair. So that goes next. Anybody have any special plans for Mother's Day? Let me know down below. I am working all day. So I ordered my mom flowers yesterday, and I had them actually delivered last night because our flower shop is not open today. Um, even though, you know, it's very was very busy yesterday. All they had left when I called oof, were carnations and... Um, roses but she said it's very pretty it's got two big pink roses and a bunch of smaller ones and um, then some really pretty carnations around it are mixed in with it she said it's gorgeous 
So I'm going to go over there tonight and look at it and see what it looks like. And I'll take a picture and I'll send it to you. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to my uh, week four, day two. I have uh, one more day after this that I work at this job, which is probably a good thing because um, since I've given my notice, I have noticed their true colors. They have been so snarky and just brimming on the edge of rude to me. Um, my boss texted me this morning in, I didn't check in yesterday because um, we use a fingerprint scanner and it would not take my fingerprint yesterday. So I left the, the scheduler a notice or a note and said that, you know, she'd need to put me in today or before yesterday because I couldn't get checked in. And she, um, my boss called me this morning in great big caps and said, didn't you work Sunday? And I said, yes, I worked 12 to 8.30, no break. She says, why no break? I said, uh, this is texting back and forth. I said, because the other girl that I share time with said that um, we don't, or we don't take breaks on Saturdays or Sundays because we can't leave our desk. We have to eat at our desk and we're constantly interrupted. She said, that doesn't make any difference. You still take a break. I said, I was just doing what the other girl says that she does. So I hope, hopefully they will get after her too. But she was just so snarky. I mean, I'm just the attitude of her texts were, you know, just bitchy. So guess I'm glad I'm out of there. You know, I knew that they were very clicky and stuff, but ever since I put in my notice, they have been just not not even trying to be nice to me anymore. So I'm glad tonight and tomorrow, I'm glad I work by myself, and so I don't have to put up with their crap. And tonight and, tomorrow, and Wednesday night is my last night. So anyway, um, I'm on my way to my uh, job service meeting at 4 o'clock. It is now quarter till, so I need to get going. So let's tell you what I'm wearing today. I am wearing the Ulta Bright Brow Tint in Light, and I really do like the color of this. This um, this is, you know, my perfect shade or just a little bit darker than, um, or that I like. So I like it either this shade or just a tiny bit darker. This shade is pretty darn good for me though, I think. So I will repurchase this for sure. Okay, the next thing I used was my Ulta Eye Primer. And as I've said before, I'm trying to use this up before I use any other one. Uh, my Grandissimo Lashes Incredible Volume Mascara by Milani. And this is in 107 Black. And I love this. I recommend this. Um, it's got the huge, which I showed you yesterday, the huge um, spindle or, or whatever you call it on it. And that I, I really like the big ones. Um, <laughs> I guess, yeah, What? whatever. Um, embarrassed myself. <laughs> that just came out wrong. The Grandissimo Lashes. And then the next thing I used was my, for my eyeshadow was the NYX Be Free SOIS Libre. And I used, today I used this, which is normal. I'm going to do that probably every day. Then today I used this color here, which is brown with just a tiny bit of sparkle in it. And then I put this just in the center and in my crease, just a little bit. So um, pretty neutral today, actually. And for my cheeks, I used the middle one here, which is more of a brownie peach, maybe. And for my lips, I'm for this week, I'm using the Ulta um, lipsticks I got in the set. And this color is Romance. And I don't know that I'm, I'm crazy about this lipstick. Um, I just don't know. It's, it's like a brownie nude. But I like the pinky nudes or the mauve nudes. This here is just a little bit too brown for me. I am just not crazy about brown. So anyway, but I do really like these lipsticks. They're creamy. They don't last long. 
but they're cr nice and creamy and feel good on the lips. So anyway, that is my look for today. So tell me, in the middle or on the side? <laughs> they just, I have no um, gel or anything in my hair today. I just washed it and it's, it's just the way it is. I just thought I would try that, you know, and I, I pinned back the sides, of course. But I just thought I would try that without the gel and just see how it looks through the night. See if it lays decent. See, you know, see if, because the gel, I like the gel, but it looks better when you're all curly. And not, um, you know, like I'm not curly at all up on top, you know, down to about here. So, um, it just makes my hair look wet basically is the way it looks and um so i thought i would try it without anything in it today and see how it goes if i don't like it i will wash it wednesday and i will hairspray it so i'm kind of trying to trying a few different looks to see and how it looks. anyway that is my video for today if you like this kind of stuff please give me a th thumbs up and i will see you wednesday and welcome oh. back to my making it work series this is day three week Four, I believe <laughs> I'm getting lost but this is my last day this week um, I did decide that I was gonna work one day next week and I will be done with that job so um, I'm gonna just add that into this you know just group it in with this one um, to make it a four-day deal I'm not gonna use probably the same makeup I'll probably wear something different but um, since it's a different week but anyway let me tell you what I have on today um, and let you know what my final thoughts on them. This is the Ultra Brow, Pen Brow Tint in Light, and I absolutely love this stuff. I will repurchase this. It is a good color for me. It is. Um, it goes on pretty easily. Today I had a little rougher time with it, but um, the rest of the week it went on really well. Uh, I really like it a lot. Okay. Then I have my mascara, my Grandissimo Lashes Incredible Volume Mascara by Milani in 107 Black. And I absolutely love, love, love this mascara. It does not clump. It um, volumizes my lashes, lashes. It makes it look like they're, they're thicker than they actually are, which my lashes aren't very thick at all. So... I really do love this and I highly recommend this mascara. Okay, for my eyeshadow palette this week, I use the NYX Be Free. If I can get it open. And I had a little bit of trouble with this. Um, it's very, very powdery. It goes on pretty well, but it's very powdery. Oh, dang it. Um, and the lid won't stay, <laughs> stay open. I use this on my all over my lids. First of all, I used my uh, Ultra Ulta eye primer. Um, I'm going to use this until it's gone. I've done a pretty good chunk on it this week, so I'm going to keep at that. But then I used this, and then I used a combination of this brown, this brown, and this brown to get where I'm at. And I used a little bit of this um, kind of goldish brown um, on top of it. It, mm, I'm not real thrilled with this week's <laughs> choices. And then lastly, I used this blush. It was the last one. It's very bright pink. I have trouble with, I've told you before, you know, that I have trouble with blushes sticking on just my skin. I, moist, I, I showered, I moisturized, and, you know, it just does not want to, stay show up on my skin very well it does back here where it looks like crap then but um okay and for the lipstick i used the last one i used was the ulta uh i cannot remember what this kit was but it was uh this color is action and it is a beautiful fuchsia and i decided you know i'm almost done i don't care <laughs> i'll wear my bright lipsticks i don't care so anyway, that is it for this week. Um, I will see you tomorrow with, or um, I will add in Mondays onto this tomorrow, but um, that is a new week and I will be using something totally different. So I will talk to you 
later on in the week. I'm trying to get ready. For, I'm not going to film a whole lot this week. I'm trying to get ready for a rummage sale before I start my new job. So I'm back, and I wanted to let you know what I'm wearing. I need to get going here, but um, first thing I did was um, shower and moisturize. Got my hair cut yesterday. Not my whole hair. Well, she trimmed it just a tiny bit, just to even it out. But I did cut my bangs. And I tried to cut them myself. And because my hair is such different lengths now, I really screwed them up. So I had to go and have somebody cut them for me. And that's that's why they're so short. But that's okay. I kind of like it. And um, I'm sorry to those of you that thought that I should let my hair grow. But I have such a high forehead that... You know, it just doesn't look good if I if I have them off to the side. And they were driving me crazy. So I just felt that I needed to have my bangs. So anyway, um, let's get going with my makeup. So today I used, since this is a one-time only, I used stuff that um, I probably wouldn't use for a whole week. Uh, without a few things. Um, this is the e.l.f. Eyebrow Tint. Treat and Tame. And this color is clear or dark. This is dark. And then it's got a clear one too that I did not use. I never used that, but I did use the dark. And I think it looks pretty good. I like the color um, on me. So this here has got the spoolie is quite big. It's not as good as the Anastasia spoolie. Um, it's not quite as soft, but it is. it was very easy to do my brows. So, And then I used my e.l.f. e.l.f. My Ulta Eye Primer that I'm using until I use it up. I used my, for my eye shadow today, I used the e.l.f. I cannot see what this says. Necessary nudes, I think it says. It's really hard. It's really tiny, so it's really hard to read. But this is what it looks like. Really pretty. I mean, I love those shimmery shades. I'm really into the shimmery lately. But I did just like it told me to do on this little sheet. Um, I used this as the base. This is the highlight under my brows. I used this as a transition and this on my eyelid. I'm, I'm still learning how to do transitions so they look good and this doesn't look great but I do love the colors so anyway I did not use the dark brown today okay so for um, mascara I use the mega protein mascara by wet n wild and that is got a spoolie like this and it worked really well except for it's really wet I'm hoping that the more I use it that you know it won't be quite as wet that's just the way it is with some things then I use the Milani and Coralina baked powder blush and this is a bit too orange for me I think I think that I'm gonna probably end up passing this one on because it is just it's orange and I don't like orange. But, um, boy, is it pigmented. <laughs> um, I hope I don't have too much on. I don't know. I can never really tell on myself. I just can't. But it sure looks like I have quite a bit on, doesn't it? My hands feel really powdery now. Okay. Okay. So the last thing I used was my Laura Geller lipstick in, shit, sorry, Cranberry. And it's very pretty. It's darker than I normally wear to work. Now, I will wear probably darker stuff to work um, in the bar, but or in the casino, but um, I figured this is my last day. Why go out with a bang, huh? And that's what it looks like. Very beautiful. Um, I thought it would be a bit more mauve when I first looked at it in here. 
under my lights but once it's on my lips but it's so creamy it's really really easy to go out of the lines with this because it is so creamy so you have to be careful with this stuff but uh, anyway that is my makeup of the day and um, like I said this is my last day I I'm getting ready. Um, the next couple of days, I'm getting ready for a rummage sale. Wednesday and Thursday, I'll probably go over to my mom's, clean out her garage, you know, sweep it and stuff, set up set up tables Thursday and get everything on it. Um, tomorrow, I will take out, take out to my car what I already have um, done. I, I don't have everything marked. But I figured, uh, like my lipsticks and stuff, I put them like four, four to a baggie, and I figured I'd sell them for two dollars. If they offer me a little bit less, I don't care. I'll take it. You know, just because I have so many. But then when I don't sell, I will. Um, you know, even swapping with you guys, it's really hard to get you guys to enjoy my, to take my lipsticks. So I, I don't know what I'll do with them. But I don't really want to bring them back home. So we will see. I say so in um, an awful lot, don't I? <laughs> I will talk to you in my next video. And talk to you then. Bye-bye.